Good morning, viewers. It's a new day. Welcome to today's devotion with the Daily Fountain, the devotional guide of the Church of Nigeria Anglican Communion. Invite your family and friends. Get your Bible and your Daily Fountain manual while our devotional leader takes us on today's devotion. Good morning, people of God, and we thank God for another glorious morning. And especially on this beautiful day, the second day of the month of January 2023. Listen, people of God, God has been faithful, God has been gracious, God has blessed us. Yesterday, we celebrated Happy New Year, and now we're on the second day. It's a beautiful day. Glory be to the name of the Lord for this wonderful day. We pray that the blessing of God shall fall upon us in the mighty name of Jesus. I am so very sure that many of us are celebrating New Year. Yes, it is worth it. And so from our hand here at ACNN Nigeria, we say Happy New Year to you. And we say that the blessing of this season shall be permanent over you. And especially in this new year that we're starting, grace shall be sufficient for you. Blessing shall locate you. Increase shall be all around you. Whatever that is not of you that the enemy may want to bring to you, the Lord shall take them away from you in the mighty name of Jesus. In 2023, you will prosper, you will increase, you will flourish. You will not fail, you will not falter. Enemy will not rejoice over you. You and your children, you are for signs and for wonders. And the grace of God, which passes all understanding, shall be for you always. In this 2023, in the mighty name of Jesus. And so we welcome you to this beautiful day. Please let's pray. Lord, we thank you for this day. We appreciate you. I will give you all the glory. You are the Lord, the most high. I will give you all the praise. Speak to us this morning in a language you are going to understand. All for the glory of your name. For we pray it in Jesus' name. Amen. Brethren, our topic today is accept God's mandate. That's our topic for today. Accept God's mandate. And our text is taken from Matthew chapter 3 from verse 13. Matthew chapter 3 from verse 13. And I read. It says, Then Jesus came from Galilee to John at the Jordan to be baptized by him. And John tried to prevent him saying, I need to be baptized by you. And you are coming to me. But Jesus answered and said to him, Permit it to be so now. For thus it is fitting for us to fulfill all righteousness. Then he allowed him. When he had been baptized, Jesus came up immediately from the water. And behold, the heavens were opened to him. And he saw the Spirit of God descending like a dove and alighting upon him. And suddenly... A voice came from heaven saying, This is my beloved Son, in whom I am well placed. This is the word of the Lord. People of God, first and foremost, let's just take a little track into what the meaning of mandate is. Mandate is an official order or commission to do something. You know, when you're officially commissioned, officially ordered to carry out an assignment. And on the second meaning, it says, the authority to carry out a policy. That's the meaning of mandate. So you can understand what that means when we talk about mandate. Now, there are two types of mandate. We have the human mandate and we have God's mandate. Let me quickly run you through some persons and the scripture when we're talking about mandate. For example, you know about Herod, the great Herod that decided to send out a mandate, commanded all the soldiers, say, look here, all of you, go out there. Because he heard that the Lord Jesus Christ had been born. He said, go out there. Any child between the age of zero to two years, make sure you kill all of them. And so the soldiers went out and killed every child that was available in Jerusalem at that point in time. That was a mandate. At the same time, you remember Joshua, in the book of Joshua, he was given a mandate. And what was the mandate? He was to march around the wall of Jericho seven times and he strictly followed the instruction that God gave him diligently and dedicatedly without missing anything out of it. Moses had the Red Sea. They were, they were confused. The Egyptians were coming behind them. They were in front of the Red Sea and they couldn't help it. And they called to God and said, God, what are we going to do? And I said, come on, what are you telling me? Look here. Tell the people of Israel to go forward. I ask him, what, are you, what do you have in your hand? He says, it's road. He says, stretch it. He followed that mandate. And 
Paul, all of us know Paul, you know, Saul then, the great persecutor, who had the mandate. Now, Paul's case was more or less like a policy. You know why? Because he had a letter in his hands, signed by the elders in Rome, that he should persecute all Christians in the Roman territory at that point in time. So that was a policy that he was supposed to carry out at that point in time. At the same time, maybe you work in an office, and our boss calls you, say, you come here, go and do this. You have no choice than to carry it out. That is human mandate. But now when we talk about God's mandate, it's only one thing that is telling us. There is a directive that God will give most of us. Possibly, am I saying not most of us? Possibly all of us as children of God. There is a mandate God will give you. There is a directive He's going to give you. There is a leading He's going to lead you. And you have no choice than to fall in into that category. Just like the passage we read this morning, people of God. John the Baptist was doing his job conveniently. He had no issue. But immediately he saw the Lord Jesus Christ. The Lord Jesus came to him and said, UK, I'm here to be baptized. And immediately he shot, he shot out and said, no, I'm supposed to even be baptized by you, the Lord Jesus. He said, no, John, you have to make this to be at this point in time. And immediately there and then, he agreed to the mandate of God and he did what was expected of him. He baptized Jesus. And immediately the Lord Jesus was baptized. The Bible made us to understand that when Jesus stepped out of the water, the heaven were opened and the Spirit of the Lord came upon him and said, This is my beloved Son in whom I am well placed. That is talking about mandate. And when we're talking about mandate, we understand the mandate of God. Job was one man that understood the mandate of God. And to the extent that in Job chapter 13 verse 15, he came out crying and said, Even though he slay me, he said, Yet I will trust him. He understood what it means to serve God, to be dedicated to the things of God. And for us to understand that was one of the reasons why Rome chapter 9 verse 16 emphatically puts it. He said, It is not of him that will it. Neither of him that run it, but of the Lord that showeth mercy. That mercy that he put under it is talking about accepting the mandate of God. And that is what the scripture is telling us this morning, people of God. In, 2000, in 2023, as of moving on now, one thing that we should put ahead of us as child of God, as children of God, is to be ready, intentionally, to be ready to accept the mandate of God. Listen to me. Many people will come to you with different kind of ideas, different kind of beliefs. You know, you have to do this. You know, you have to do that. This is the way you have to go. They will come. You know, that is human for you. They want to advise you in their own human capacity. Don't forget what Jeremiah said. Jeremiah said, Woe unto that man that trusts in man. So that is to tell you that it is important for us in 2023 that we should accept the mandate of God into our lives because why when we accept the mandate of god into our life just what happened when john baptized jesus christ the bible says the heavens were opened when you accept the directives of god the heaven will be open when you accept the mandate of god blessing will come upon you when you accept the mandate of god increase will come upon you when you accept the mandate of god doors will be opened for you the bible says it says see that a man is diligent in what he does he said he will not just stand before mean men he said they will stand before kings that is what accepting the mandate of god does upon your life when you accept his, his mandate, he's ready to do anything whatsoever for you. You know, maybe I should state it at this point in time. Accepting the mandate of God is actually a conditional thing. You know one thing that God will not do? God will force you, people of God. God will not force you. That is one thing about God. In fact, the Holy Spirit is so marvelous that He will speak to you in a still small voice. He will come to you. Means that to you in a very still small voice and say, this is what you must do. And if you push Him out, He won't even bother to argue with you. He will just leave. He will be quiet for you. Because he will want you to have your own way. Just like many of us, many of the time when we do our things. You know, when we advise, when you are advised here and there, don't do this. This is what is better for you. You're like, I'm a man of myself. I'm a woman of myself. I need to do what I believe. I can take my decision myself. Eventually, when it happens, 
Then you say, oh, if I had known. May the voice of regret never come to you this 2023 in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. See, many people regret in 2022. Do you know why they regretted? Because they were given advice. God spoke to them directly. Imagine it. If John the Baptist didn't carry out the assignment that was given upon him, the mandate that he was given to do, baptizing the Lord Jesus Christ. Don't forget, this same John the Baptist already raised an alarm. He said, look here, somebody is coming. Whose shoe strap I am not worthy to lose. He already gave them that warning. So when he saw Jesus Christ, one thing that came upon him is the fear. He was afraid. And you know, when you see somebody that's bigger than you, you you're meant to be afraid. It's a natural thing. It's a very natural thing. It will come upon you if you are afraid. But if you remember that it's a mandate upon you, it's like you're an ambassador that you are sent out on an emissary to another country to carry out an assignment, to carry out a policy, to fulfill something. You have no choice than to do it. And if you're human, can do this in their own capacity. How much more we, children of God, that has been called out of darkness into his marvelous light, we have a mandate to carry out. And that mandate in 2023 must be carried out. You must accept the directives of God upon your life because it is what will make open doors to come your way. It is what will make you to be located and be promoted and be elevated. See, mandate of God doesn't just come on its own. It comes with an attachment of blessing. Oh, praise the Lord, somebody. See, it comes with an attachment of blessing. And when it comes to you, oh, oh, praise God. 2023 is going to be an exceptional year for you. I speak to somebody this morning. Whatever difficulty that you went through in 2022, I decree to you in 2023, you will not experience it. The Bible says affliction will not rise again. In 2023, affliction will not rise again concerning you. Those things you've overcome, you have overcome them. But one thing you must do in 2023, be ready to accept the mandate of God upon your life. That is all it takes. Let's see what the devotion has said. Then we'll go ahead from there. Devotion has said, this year, write your plans with a pencil, I love that word. He said, write it with a pencil and allow God to hold the eraser. <laughs> That's very deep, people of God. You write it with a pencil, just like a kindergarten kids, just like a primary children. Now write with pencil. Write your plan with pencil. Allow God to hold the eraser. That is deep for you to take in this morning. He continues, draw your programs and allow God to make the necessary adjustments. In our text, Jesus came to John and asked him to baptize him. And that's verse 13. But John felt unqualified. Just like I said, he was afraid. He, was, he felt unqualified and like, how can I be baptizing my Lord? How can I be baptizing the Messiah of the world? So he felt unqualified. He felt afraid and he was ready to say no at that point in time. But listen, in John's view, it was not the right thing to be done. Jesus urged him to baptize him in order to fulfill all righteousness. And that is in verse 15. John surrendered to God's mandate. He baptized Jesus and God confirmed the baptism with a declaration in Matthew 3 verse 17. And Ephesians chapter 5 verse 17 says something. He said, therefore, do not be unwise, but understand what the will of the Lord is. Take time this year, people of God. To seek the face of God before taking sensitive decisions. You do not waste time while waiting upon the Lord. Rather, you save time and also renew your strength. See, I have some people around me in 2022. A couple of young ones and old ones, adults like that. They felt their waiting moment was a waste of time. <laughs> if Abraham waited that much and he was blessed. Until now, me and you were claiming the blessing of Abraham. Then you can imagine that waiting moment is not a waste of time. And that is why Isaiah chapter 40 verse 31 says, he said, those that wait upon the Lord, those in bracket that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. Listen to me. You need to learn in 2023 to wait upon God. You don't have to rush into taking any decisions. No, 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 no. You don't have to rush into taking any decisions. You have to be calm. See, making some decisions in 2023, make it intentional and make sure that the hand of God is involved in them. Because if the hand of God is not involved in them, you are liable to make a mistake. Oh, you mistake that you will take your life. In 2023, you will not take it. In the mighty name of Jesus. Mistake that will affect your life negatively. 
I pray for you this morning, you will not make that mistake. See, John was ready to make that mistake intentionally. Saying he felt unqualified and he was afraid. But thank God for the intervention. I said, no, John, at this point in time, you have to make this to be. And immediately that was B, things opened. And even John went ahead and felt fulfilled. See, when you obey and accept the mandate of God, there is this fulfillment feeling that will come upon you. There is this satisfactory feeling that will come upon you. It is undescribable. For me, obeying the voice of God, it is undescribable. But when you obey his mandate, when you obey his voice, when he speaks to you, believe you me, you're going to find it so outstandingly different because things will fall for you. Line will fall for you in pleasant places conveniently see if you are intentional in serving god in 2023 god is ready to intentionally bless you i speak to somebody here this morning in 2023 intentionally god will bless you if you are ready to accept the mandate of god intentionally the doors will open for you intentionally oh my god see when god blesses his own people he blesses them intentionally it doesn't waste time it doesn't put question mark it doesn't put maybe it doesn't talk about it it doesn't even just oppose it it doesn't even discuss it that was what happened in the case of job the devil came and said is it not you god have protected him he said take away your sheet and you will see he will deny you god vouched for for job god vowed for job in 2023 let it be a year that god can vouch for you let it be a year god can say look at my child there look at my child there is doing very well if that happens believe you me people would run after you and say please tell us how you're doing it i speak to somebody this morning double grace is coming upon you double joy is coming upon you double anointing for breakthrough but breakthrough will come upon you in the name of jesus but you see what the bible say now Take time this year to seek the face of God because before taking sensitive decision, it is a key. Listen to me. It is a key into your breakthrough. And the devotional continue. Find his will on how you will run your business. For some of us who are businessmen, train your children, operate in your academics, serve in the place of worship, be ready. Anything you do, be ready to seek the face of God intentionally don't just go see make it an intentional effort to seek his face every time always never miss it see the trouble you went through oh let me tell you this will you believe with me that the prayers of the righteous are actually the reason why nigeria is still upstanding the righteous ones are seeking the face of God. And the Bible says, the prevalent prayer of a righteous man availed much. See, when you intentionally seek the face of God, God is ready for you in 2023. Somebody is listening to my voice this morning. 2023 is your year. You will break through. Oh, landmark achievement will come upon you in the name of Jesus. But the conditions surrounding it, you must be ready to accept the mandate of God. And he concludes, say, John projected Jesus in his ministry. So you too, in 2023, through your character, through your messages, through your association, through your family, your mode of worship, and everything you do, let Jesus be projected. Let Jesus be projected. Be a reliable partner in God's kingdom in this year. And I can guarantee you, if you're ready to do that, things will go well for you. Once again, thank you so much for your time this morning. This is the second day in the year 2023 and the first month. Please, don't let God down. But instead, let God fill your life. And when you fill your life, everything shall work for you in God. The Bible says, all things work for my good. There is a song that actually like that. All things are working for my good. Is intentional, never failing. Be ready to serve God this year. I can guarantee you God is ready to make everyone celebrate with you. And so as we close, I pray for you. Things will work for your good. Light will shine upon you. Darkness upon you shall be taken away. You will not cry this year in the mighty name of Jesus. And unto God's gracious hand will commit you. The Lord bless you and keep you. Make his face shine upon you and be gracious unto you and keep the light of his countenance above you. And the peace of God which passes all understanding. Keep your heart and mind in the knowledge of God and of his son Jesus Christ our Lord. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be upon you and rest upon you now and for always. Thank you for your time. God bless you and have a glorious day.
We thank you for fellowshipping with us today. We invite you to join us tomorrow morning, same time, same station, for another special edition of the Daily Fountain. If you are led to sponsor or support this program, please contact the numbers and email all showing on your screen. Also, subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash ACNNTV. Visit our website www.acnntv.com. <laughs>